Hi Aquarius, this is your Sun, Moon or Rising Aquarius for November 2019. If you would like a private reading with me or hypnosis to facilitate permanent change, do use the link below. You can purchase a voucher for Christmas or New Year presents or even birthday, just use the link below. Do watch my Bali video, I met YN um, from e Pray Love uh, and also the blog that goes with that, links are below. So Aquarius, you are looking at your finances, your ambition, you're looking at banks, you're talking with leaders uh, and specialists, and this is what you're focused on all month. When it comes to your finances, there is a fresh new start. This is a major account card. In fact, you've got that in your finances, career, and work, in your home, and in your love. So this is a, a big month for you where there is going to be some changes, major changes, uh, and they're all in a good way, all of them. Even in your house, you've got the Ace of Wands, which is a new uh, journey forward, a new way of looking at your health. Um, it's actually a really, really good card. Now, uh, with our Sun card, this is a big shift in our finances. This is freedom in our finances. This is uh, a revolution. This is a brand new job. This is a promotion. Um, and there's a feather in your cap. So you might be uh, launching something. You might be uh, working on something that for a while and now you're launching it and it's got really great feedback. You applied for a job, you got a job. And you know what? This is something that you, whatever the finances is or even the job, this is something now uh, which lays seeds for the future. So you're just going to keep growing on this. This could be a complete tangent change because, of course, you have been looking at your whole, your whole life has changed, basically your... Um, career, a lot of you had problems in your career, complete change, on off, on off, on off, or you know, it just you know, you've got a brand new job. The other area is your home and family, complete change there as well. And then for some of you, it is your um, you know, when it comes to your health, it's your partner. Uh, sorry, your home, it's your partner. And then the lastly, Aquarius, it's your health. Uh, and it looks like you're finally getting some uh, answers for that. So, with the sun card, this is a big shift. Uh, you've figured out where you want to go, you've finally got that job, you're finally launching something, your funds are, are starting to rise and you'll be able to put that finances towards the future. So if you've been short of money, this month um, there is taking you to uh, a place of freedom from worry. Don't forget Mercury Retrograde right through to December the 9th, uh, which means that nothing is settled. And nothing is settled at all until December the 9th. So there can be mistakes in contracts. There can be people who say something and then change their mind. They don't deliver. There can be people that change their mind, stop, start, delays, all of those different things as well. So, you know, keep yourself protected. This is a time of planning, a time for drafts, a plan of, um, you know, getting, getting, um, all the energy put into something for the future. So like I said, you could be putting money into this. You could be putting energy and creativity into this. What you're working on right now is going to pay off into the future. At home, we do have the justice card. So if we're putting these two together, we're getting married. If we're uh, you know, getting divorced, we've, we've got that outcome. Any kind of legalities is going to produce funds. This is also contracts. So maybe we've got a loan. That's a big, huge change to to buy a house or we've sold a house, the job has been able to um, afford us to buy a house, uh, moving jobs is taking our home somewhere else, because this is legalities, whether this be divorce, whether the, any kind of uh, legalities at all, something is hanging in the balance for that, and it looks like it's going to be equal, it looks like things will go the way that you want to, they're going to go in your favor. Um, and uh, this is equaling things out for where they are. Now, in terms of the home itself, whether this be you and flatmates, you and home, or even just on your own, we have to have clear expectations for what this looks like. This is you. This is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. We need to have a plan, because this is a major arcana card. We can't let that go to waste. We need clear expectations of you know where we're living, what it looks like, how we're spending our money, what responsibilities, all of those different things. And we are um, keeping things in the balance, keeping things in the check. In our health, like I said, Ace of Wands. Now, this can be about the sexual area. Uh, because this is the fellas card um, and we've got growth on that so you know we might be having more sex we might be trying for a baby you know we've got babies here um, actually you know we'll put these together getting married having babies having babies just sound like it is 
So this card here is, uh, I've got a new start, new growth, putting money into it, la 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 la. The first house is everything here. It's everything here. Or even, you know, if we're like putting money into something. For some of you, it could be, you know, it's more select, um, sex change or transitioning. Um, because it's 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 the one. It's, it's, um, it's about ourselves, our identity and what it looks like. So the first house is head, face, upper lip, upper jaw, cerebrum and brain. So it could be as simple as I've paid to get Botox, I've paid to get my teeth cleaned, stained, you know, whatever, uh, new teeth. Uh, so you're putting money into something and you are loving the results because it's like all of these cards, laying seeds, laying seeds, uh, laying seeds. So all of these different cards are pointing to this new direction that you're going to and for goodness sakes, Aquarius deserves this. It's been a long time. Now our love. Now this is meeting someone, Mr. or Mrs. Wright. This is meeting someone where you can have a family with. This has got a long-term future. This is someone that um, you can retire with. Uh, those of you already coupled, this is about the next phase of our life, you know, how we're going to retire, what our family looks like, how we're going to settle, all of those things. Now, some of you might be feel, uh, feeling very well loved, feeling spoiled, feeling... Um, you know, very attractive and very uh, content and happy in your relationship. This is the facility card. This is the future. You know, we're, we've, we've hit bank. We've hit someone that is really worthy of us. This is v uh, Venus. Uh, this is a positive card. This is the Empress. So she's reached the top, the pinnacle in our love. So whether this be new, love, um, this is Libra in a, in a fire sign, great passion great passion um, and settled company uh, couples you know we're getting married this is the empress this is uh, legalities he's a king as well uh, so joining forces now your during virtue messages from the angels is and also like I said if you're putting money into um, you know your figure um, you know, Venus is luxury. I'm feeling really good. Um, you know, I'm, I'm flaunting. I'm out. I'm dating. I'm looking good. Life is changing. Um, but, you know, most of this month you are looking at your finances. Um, for a small select few of you, it's uh, sorting out finances to do with the family, so parents and things like that. We're also looking at our insurance. Um, we're looking at investments. Um, you know, you're putting things in for our ambitious things to do with our career and our finances. And uh, Saturn's still asking us to, all of what was before, and it's been a big two years, all of what's been before and anything we haven't let go of, you know, you've got to do it. No nonsense approach. This is about uh, allowing yourself and giving yourself permission to let that go and to move forward and to use our analytical and not so much our uh, emotions uh, to be able to get those results that we want. Okay, so again, there's definitely babies here. You've got a baby card, baby card, baby card, fellas card. So there's definitely babies here for some Aquarians. You know, whether you're a grandparent, an auntie or babies yourself, there's babies here. Now this card is saying smoother roads ahead, just like I said, big shift, changing our home, big shift, changing our love, big shift, changing our health, big shift. This card is saying the same thing. There's peace and tranquility and a smoother road ahead. There's new life and there's pride in our family. Maya says we are looking at accounts, we are talking to specialists, we are studying, we are uh, gaining our abilities, we are ambitious, uh, and we're researching stuff. We're online and we are looking at stuff. Astara says, reach for the stars, don't compromise, and you will get what you want. Even if, you know, you've applied for a job, and oh my God, it's just back forth, back forth, back forth. This month is going to be changed. Just hang on in there. And uh, Andrea, she's saying, listen, you have a message for people. You bring out the best in people. So, you know, while you're being social, while you're getting out there, while you are at the top of yourself uh, and anywhere that you're going, uh, just, you know, be your happy, loveling self and, and share that knowledge. So be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi side, Jake, may the force be with you.